Hello everyone. Uh, this is my Daimai for Kiss Lowy Eye. Uh, an orchid species. It's a very um, rare and uh, slow growing and so far my most uh, expensive seedling orchid species that's uh, cost for $200 just for a seedling. And so this is has not been uh, long f with me. I haven't been posting a video of it but I, I did record uh, this orchid when I first opened it so I'm just gonna show you the progress of uh, four months uh, since I, uh, it's been with me uh, the four months uh, how it's been uh, till this uh, month which is uh, four months now and um, if you're not very familiar with it, uh, this is known for its two distinctive uh, different flowers on the same inflorescence. Uh, it has different color and shape, which is very pretty. And uh, it's a uh, very long uh, uh, flower that almost like a, like more than a meter long. And it's Orchid Web has uh, a great video of it they have a very uh, mature plant a 20 year old plant that flowers for them and it's so pretty and it's fragrant too and this is uh, orchid is native to the third largest island of the world which is Borneo and uh, yeah and so far um, I, w I decided to get this one and see how it grows for me and so far you know i'm amazed with how the roots are growing in four months so i'm gonna show you the uh the video of when i first got it and then how it is now stay tuned here a rare orchid unboxing and i think i ordered sunday it came tuesday so that's how past the shipping was and um, this is from uh, BL Orchids so I'm excited um, there's one that's rare here the other one is something I've been looking for look it looks very healthy I love it um, this one is not the rare one but yeah, let's see. Alright. Um, this, let's look at the tag. Yeah, this is a uh, Tychoglotis orchidea. Um, you seen in my uh, video on that um, orchid show uh, there's one that on display of the orchidea and I've been looking for this because I have a uh, trichoglotis bracteosa and also trichoglotis rosea so this is the third trichoglotis uh, variety that I got and then I'm not sure let's see I have to go to work so I'm kind of also in a hurry um, so this is the uh, rare one very rare it's actually still a young plant and it's already very expensive um, oh, he gave me number three okay yeah um, this is the famous it's a Borneo orchid okay so I have to remove the paper and uh, there was a tag that doesn't belong here it's stuck in the tape so that kind of uh, confused me a little bit but this is the right tag this is the rare 
very rare orchid, very beautiful and hard to find. It's Dimorphorchis lowii. It's an orchid that is in Borneo, endemic in Borneo, and it's uh, found in the tropical, hot, warm climate of Borneo. So um, this is very hard to find, and uh, yeah, that's why um, I'm glad to have it. And he gave me a note. That's why it says uh, he's he gave me a pot that is much bigger and uh, nicer with fat roots. But yeah, um, he had a few in selling in his. Uh, uh, eBay uh, store there and so yeah it comes in this soil but he grows this in the nursery so I'm not sure if I will keep this because I definitely don't want to rot the roots and I want to put it where I can see it so I can uh, see the progress of the orchid being it this is a very slow grower and uh, yeah and very hard to find and I don't want to lose it so I'll be um, posting and um, giving giving you a progress on what's going on of on this uh, rare Dimorphorchis lowii. So here it is, guys, my Dimorphorchis lowii, the rare orchid that uh, takes very long to grow and mature. And um, yeah, this is just a seedling, but it's uh, since. Uh, March this is how it grew now I think like uh, since I got got it March so it's like three months it's been with me this one got longer and the other two roots are also grown out of the pot so I did not change the media um, I put it out from the patio uh, just outside the, my door and it's um, secluded from uh, high winds and extreme weather in other words and I can manipulate uh, the water where I can just water it when it's almost dry and um, it doesn't get too much sun or too much wind so yeah and i observe the media if it's not gonna rot then i'll leave it so so far there's actually even uh, grass growing there i pull it out but yeah it's doing good so far and um yeah i can't believe it and the roots are coming out in three months that i have it and so I'm going to show you a measurement. So this is uh, a foot ruler. And yeah, see there. I'm just, I'm sitting near the, near here. So, so that's how tall that is. A little bit over a foot. And then the leaf span. So we have a record of how how the growth uh, is doing. So yeah. So that's like if you see from the other one to the other one here. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes along it's gonna be tested when winter comes that's my worries 
because um, this I don't think it can withstand the cold so we'll see when winter comes uh, how it's gonna uh, do and then um, probably because the roots are coming out of the pot I have to I'm not gonna disturb the root it looks like it's doing okay and it keep it moist I'm just gonna put it on another pot and then put the bark in it where these other roots gonna climb out out of the pot and then grab on to the bark so that's what my plan is um, if you guys have uh, grown this one and it's doing well for you um, please share it with me so I have an idea of how this one uh, grows or behaves so yeah and so far I'm happy with its growth it's got a little bit of yellow there I don't know why maybe too much heat even though it's hot in Borneo um, you know it's in the humid tropic forest so it's more like a little bit maybe intermediate over there and you know indirect sun so So this is how uh, the roots are growing now in four months time. Um, as you can see, the roots are already climbing out of the pot. And this is just a temporary pot that um, I decided not to disturb the root. But yeah, these are the, the, or the roots that's uh, growing outside now. It's climbing out and um, yeah, I probably have to find a, a basket because this is a pot that you cannot hang so when it flowers because it has very long flowers that that way I can hang it but hopefully it will survive um, I just treat it like Vanda if it's still wet then don't I just miss the, the roots outside and yeah if it's almost dry then you water it so I cannot really tell you a lot about the care for this plant because uh, it's just four months with me but I'm I'm seeing a progress at I every each month the progress of the roots. So this is how it's growing in my uh, Florida warm climate. So thank you guys. I'll probably give you an update uh, in months time or who knows if I see any change for this plant, then I will definitely uh, show you. Uh, its progress so thank you guys for watching i hope i'll see you again on my next video bye now